Uh, President Biden's White House press secretary is facing mostly friendly questioning during yesterday's press briefing. A stark contrast from what we were seeing for President Trump's press secretaries. Well, you take a look for yourself. Here's some comparison. It's been reported that you did $500,000 worth of, of deep cleaning. Could you talk about the measures that you took to ensure that uh, the president is safe? And I understand your point. It is extreme. The president himself will hold it. Yeah. I understand. Is what? he confused or are you confused? No, I'm not confused. Do you see yourself, uh, your primary role is promoting the interests of the president? Or are you there to provide us the unvarnished truth? You know, you've been saying this over the last couple of weeks that nobody has been tougher on Russia and Vladimir Putin than this president. Isn't there some hyperbole in that when you say that? Give us some color about what it was like for him going into the Oval Office. Shouldn't the president be telling people the truth about this virus at his rallies? The president is telling people the truth, and you're right, Jim, that he no, was he's talking not. about. He's saying that it affects virtually nobody and that it doesn't affect young people. He's not telling the truth. On a lighter note, uh, will he keep Donald Trump's Air Force One color scheme change? Huh. Power panel, Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union, Nomiki Kuntz, host of the Nomiki Show, and former Bernie Sanders surrogate. Great to see you both. Matt, I start with you with your reaction to it. Yeah, this is the normal honeymoon that tends to happen with presidents. Unfortunately for Donald Trump, they started off in divorce court with the press, and they never <laughs> let up for one day. And you know what? The effect of that was politically, Harris, is it bonded him to half of the country like, I've really never seen in politics. Half of this country adores what President Trump had to put up with. The persecution of Trump and his supporters with impeachment, it is terrible politics for Joe Biden. If he wants healing, stop the madness. Namiki. I'm not really sure how Jen Psaki treating the press uh, as if they're actual reporters has to do with not healing the country. That I, I lost the logic there. Listen, I mean, on day one, the Trump administration called the press corps, right-wing press too, by the way, the opposition party. If you start off that way, you're setting the tone. You know, you had press secretary after press secretary quit. So, no, Miki, because... mm -hmm. no, no, Miki, let me just step in for a second. Are, are, are you honestly saying that you don't see the percentage being higher of ne negativity in terms of coverage for President Trump than already we have seen with Biden? I mean, even through... <laughs> the point where he and our own Peter Ducey on the campaign trail were trading words because he didn't want to take Peter's questions. I mean, the, the, yeah. it, it really is obvious. So the question is, doesn't the country deserve to see transparency at this point, which is what Jin Psaki offered? So, so it does further divide the country if we're not getting the truth. Matt? Yeah, I mean, this is exactly right, which is I, I like Jen Psaki. I've done a lot of TV with Jen Psaki. She's in a tough position. But there's no question being a press conference, uh, being a press secretary for a, Republic, for a Democratic president is night and day between being uh, a press secretary for a Republican president. We always focus on Trump, Harris. But, you know, I worked for President Bush. He had the same level of hostility at the end of his administration that we saw are very similar to what we saw with President Trump. They just are against our policies. And our, what's funny about the Trump policies is they're very popular. The idea of having energy jobs and lower energy prices and getting tough on China and making right. sure we only have legal immigration, they're popular Matt, policies. Trump should have hired you to be press secretary because you're brilliant at it. Again, this is day one, and I can't believe we're, I'm like, are we on another planet right now? She has had one press conference where she literally just introduced herself to the press corps, and we're suddenly saying that there is a double standard. Toward, let's not forget, towards the end of the George W. Bush presidency, he was the most unpopular president. Now, Trump is the most unpopular president. So maybe it has something to do always with the policy Republicans. and the wars and the impeachments. It's not always these Republicans. You don't think Clinton, Bill Clinton, had a destructive relationship with the press corps? Come on. Yeah, right. He had to do something yeah. pretty terrible to get it. Uh, As okay, did Trump I'm going to step in here. They asked Jen Psaki about the preferred colors inside the, the White House that this president might have, a color scheme. Uh, shots in arms. We were promised a million a day by the, the new president. Might have started there. Anyway, they did get to COVID. Uh, I'm going to move on. Good to see you both. Thank you.